Welcome back. September is Hispanic Heritage Month, and it's also California Wine Month. So tonight we are highlighting Hispanic winemakers. ABC 10's Mike Duffy spoke to winemakers in Lodi who are making a big splash. It was a kind of a happy accident. I just took a job and ended up falling in love with something that I wasn't really exposed to before. Chris Rivera is the owner of Seis Soles Wine. My parents are from Michoacan, Mexico. They immigrated here, worked here, uh, became naturalized citizens eventually, and that's when I was born in uh, Modesto, California. He worked in the industry for a number of years, learning all aspects of the business. He says he knows historically Latinos aren't thought of as opting into the wine industry, but... I think if you're talking from like amount of people that put hands on these, like from grapes all the way to bottle, Latinos are probably... Uh, outnumbering everybody else 20 to 1, right? Our cuisine is world renowned, so we know taste, textures, and flavors. Now we can just translate to that to our what we prefer as beverages, and wine can be a big part of that. Susana Rodriguez Vasquez is the winemaker at Peltier Winery. She explained why she chose the business. Winemaking for me is my passion. I love um Every vintage is different. It is so much to learn. She explained where it started. I was in love with agriculture, so I graduated from University of San Simon in Cochabamba, Bolivia. She came to the U.S. in 2005 as an exchange student and got her first job in the wine industry one year later. Coming here to the United States and trying to get in the industry, I think one, as a, as a Latina, and two, as a female, and mostly dominated by male industry, it wasn't easy. It was a challenge and I was happy to take it. I think that's one of the things that we Latinos we have. She explained why she's in Lodi. I love how friendly the industry is here and, you know, I honestly love this region. 